What is going on YouTube? It's your boy BT from It's BT's World coming at you with video number three, Samsung Note 2, AT&T version. We're going to flash a custom recovery on here. Um, that will pave the way to loading some custom ROMs. Um, next video will be putting a custom ROM on. I'm probably just going to use clean ROM. Basically, it's just the international version of the uh, software. Basically, it's what you got right now without the bloatware that your carrier might put on there. This is an AT&T version, so there's a bunch of AT&T apps that you can't delete, blah, blah, blah. Taking up your space, clogging your screen. We're going to get rid of those by putting the clean ROM version on. Um, leaving all the other functionality intact. I think free Wi-Fi tether is also included with that ROM. Maybe a couple other little tweaks, but uh, basically it's just a stock ROM uh, with the bloatware gone. Uh, pretty easy to uh, flash a recovery. Um, you have to do that first before you can load the ROM, obviously. So um, we're going to step by step it through uh, recovery. This should be a short video. So uh, let's do this and uh, see what happens. First thing we're going to do is go to the Play Store. Once we're in the Google Play Store, we're going to search for Goo Manager. There it is right there. We're going to download and install that. Uh, this app does require root access if you haven't rooted your phone yet. Check out my previous video on how to root um, the Samsung Note 2. Uh, get root, then you can do this. Don't try it without root, it won't work. Looks like that's downloaded and installed. We're going to go ahead and open that up. The first time you open up Goo Manager, it's going to ask for super user permissions. That just gives it grant, grants it access to go in and uh, change the things that it needs to change. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. Super user request. Grant. So we have granted um, permission. We're good to go. Okay, what we're going to do is... Hit menu. We're going to do install open recovery script. Are you sure you would like to do this? This will download and write a recovery image to your device, and that's exactly what we want it to do. So we're going to say yes. We're going to say um, right here, it's got the file name TWRP2323 TOL TE. ATT.image. The AT&T part, that's for this model of phone, the AT&T version of the Note 2. If you've got another variant, make sure the file name's right there. TWRP, that's uh, Team Win Recovery Project, Twerp, whatever, links in the bottom. Um, that's what we need. So, yep, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and say yes. It's going to do a little uh, pause here, asking for money. And uh, please, guys, if these guys help you out, support them. Send them a buck. Buy them a beer. Whatever. And it's doing its thing. Recovery has been installed. Once it's all done, I think it's supposed to reboot itself. We'll see if it does. We'll give it a few minutes here. This is the first time I've ever used this, so we'll see. Maybe not. Okay, gotta love live video. Um, but let's reboot into recovery and see what we got. We'll try that. There's the reboot screen. We should get twerp instead of... There it is, Team Win. And that is twerp. This is the program we are going to use, or the, the recovery, the bootloader, whatever you want to call it, uh, to install those custom ROMs. Um... 
Not going to do that right now. We'll just reboot back to the regular system. You'll see all these splash screens and stuff. I think those will be gone once we put a clean ROM on. This is an AT&T branded phone. Obviously, they're going to throw their ad on there for you. And we're back. Everything's back to normal. Only difference is we have a custom recovery ready for those custom ROMs. That's all I got for you in this video, guys. Next video, loading custom ROMs. Uh, if this video helped you out, comment, subscribe, rate, Whatever. If it didn't help you out, sorry. That's all I got for you, BT from It's BT's World. Peace.